posteriorly at the gastric remnant here. Moving anteriorly, we see the gastric antrum, the pylorus, and the proximal duodenum, the mid duodenum, and the distal duodenum. Moving anteriorly, we see the sorrel sign, which indicates the location of the mesenteric defect of the internal hernia. Moving anteriorly, we follow the dilated biliopancreatic limb to here. These white lines here indicate the jejunojejunostomy. This dilated loop of bowel is anterior and to the right of the abdomen. Moving back posteriorly, we see the esophagus and the gastric pouch. These suture lines indicate the gastrojejunostomy. Here we have the dilated rulem. As we move anteriorly, we notice that the dilated rulem is to the left of the dilated jejunojejunostomy. Therefore, the dilated jejunojejunostomy is anterior and to the right of the dilated rulem.